Okay, so I don't know what it is about this game, but something about learning real recipes and following through them is really interesting to me. I don't know, maybe it's because of my cooking nature. It's just that I wish other cooking games would have the same philosophy instead of just arcade stuff. So I guess this is gonna be the last recipe from ancient Greece. Souvlaki, sure, a classic. I'm going to love this one. It's called souvlaki, roasted meat on a stick. Absolutely delicious. Great marinade is the secret to great souvlaki. In a mixing bowl, combine equal parts wine and honey. Ha! As they say, a nino alicia. In wine, there is truth. If you ask me though, wine and honey, I can't wait. Mmm, I'm fine. Add spices to the marinade. One spoon coriander, two spoons garlic, one spoon marjoram, one spoon rosemary, and two spoons of silver. Oh shit. <laughs> Is it in the actual order? Yeah, oof. <laughs> you know, it's been harder and harder to find silphium. I suppose a high... Yes, that looks good. <laughs> hey, have you done this before? <laughs> mm, maybe? Use the knife to chop the pork loin evenly into eight cubes. Evenly? Souvlaki can be made with any meat, really. But pork's my favorite. So I have to cut in the middle? Wait, it's gonna be two? Yeah, 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 okay. Shit. <laughs> That's not even... <laughs> Cubes, right? Okay. Oh my god, it's... N oh no, my perfection nature. <laughs> Wait, is it actually... Oh, okay. So... Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna get one star. I was just testing physics. I didn't think it's that precise. Add the pork cubes to the marinade and let it sit. Oh, these are going to taste good. I can feel it. Let's make some fresh pita. A good souvlaki has got to be on a pita. And I know you already know how to make it. You want to give me an instruction for it? Oof. <laughs> In the mortarium, use the pestle to grind Z and barley grains into flour. It should be half full of flour after grinding. It's fine. Add a spoon of salt and splashes of sourdough starter, water, oil, and milk. Hey, this sourdough starter's been in my family for generations. Never fails to make a good pita. It smooths the dough until it's a round ball, then let it rise. Fresh charcoal will light if added to the old coals in the oven. Hi. Split the dough in half with a knife. Roll it with a pin to flatten. <laughs> Still? The oven is hot enough. Put the pitas in the oven and close the door. That's starting to look like a pita. What? Those look a little pale. They feel undercooked to me, don't you think? The pitas are done when they are golden fresh charcoal we light when added to your old grill fire. Of the marinade from the pork cubes. Put four cubes on each skewer. The <laughs> horribly uneven cut pork cubes.
Oh wait. That is oh. perfect. Quick, don't let it burn. Sheet. Oh. I think the grill is ready for some skewers. You know, shuvla is Greek for skewer. Suvlaki is the diminutive, so it means little skewers. Uh-uh. Wait, wait, wait. Five second rule. Oh, okay. Oh, that looks so good. I'm gonna get shit on the, the size, so whatever. Where is the small bite? <laughs> Don't worry about speed. Wait. Where is the cut that I did? Oh, here it is, okay. <laughs> Cook skewers of meat over the fire. Keep turning them so they don't burn. Mmm, just listen oh, to that sizzle. Everything matters in this game. Jesus. I should have put them, yeah, more in. I'm not specializing in grill. Oh my god. Prepare a cubix of one part wine. Cook skewers of meat over the fire. That smells positively divine. Keep turning until all the pieces are done. I'll pour my hands for the sake of a good dish. Come on. Okay, they are shining. <laughs> prepare a cubic of one part wine and three parts water. Works every time. Is this water? Yeah. Kilix. Damn. Uh-uh. I'll take this. Thank you. Place the meal on the serving table and ring the bell. Wait a minute, but that's just watering down wine. <laughs> okay. So this particular Kilix is called a night cup. Whenever you are ready for me to try the food, just ring that bell. No rush, I'll be patient. Let me just try the presentation at least. I'm tryharding. And they are on top of each other. Yeah. Well, let's give this a little taste. What about me? Yes, absolutely fantastic. Come on, tell me. You must have made this before. Yes? <laughs> You're a natural. Weren't the cuts, like, important? Uh, I think they were, actually. You completed all the Greek recipes. I knew you had it in you to be a great ghost chef. Mm, yeah, I'm assuming. Okay. Hello, I'm so happy to meet you. I have so many Spring Festival recipes I want to share. The Lunar New Year is my favorite season. How about we start with Tang Hu? It's one of my favorite festival snacks. Laiba, follow me. Funnily enough, we have Lunar Year now going on, like the event. Tang Hu is pretty easy to make. It's basically just fruit with a hardened sugar shell. Let's make that first, then some tea to go with it. 
Yeah, I was gonna say, in the trailer I saw it and there were just fruits on the stick. <laughs> Make a skewer with six Hawthorne berries. Six pieces per steak for good luck. Well, I suppose any even number works, as long as it isn't a four. <laughs> Don't do four these days. Four is often considered to be extremely unlucky, because four is si, and it sounds like death, which is si. So that's why the hotels don't have four floors? Now, in my time, we made Tang Hulu with mainly Shanja or Haothong berries. Shanja are super bitter though, so let's throw in some sweeter fruits you may be more familiar with. Make two more skewers using fruits of your choice, six on each. Oh, creativity, huh? Something that I'm not good at. <laughs> Giving people oranges for New Year's is such a fun tradition. The word for orange, ju, sounds like lucky, which is ji. So when you give someone an orange, you say good luck or da ji da li. You can already tell I love symmetry. <laughs> Yeah, good enough. <laughs> That's a riveting gameplay, huh? <laughs> Wait, this is yellow. What the hell? They bamboozled me. Looking good. Now let's bring those over to the left walk. Hey. Left. Place five scoops of water in the walk. What? That's why we were playing this, <laughs> discovering new recipes. I would never do that. Use wood to start a hot fire under the walk. Excellent. That will make a hot fire. Okay. Add all the rock sugar to the water and let it boil. Wait for the sugar to melt, then the left wok is ready to cook with. We want the candy to have a satisfying crunch, right? So you need to heat the sugar until it boils and reaches what we call hard crack temperature. Make sure to cover all the fruit on each floor. Ah, and they have like a gloss to them. That's interesting. Wait, shouldn't we have six? I think one <laughs> dropped off. <laughs> hey! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Ow! What am I doing? Hmm. 
Yes, good. Now let's make the tea. Mm, how about a nice oolong? That'll go well with the fruit. Well, I'd call it oolong today, but in my time, we called it wee tea. Wee tea? Put the teapot on the already hot brazier. Bring it to a boil. Where's the water? Okay. We don't have all day, man. Put two spoonfuls of oolong tea powder into the teacup. Pour boiling water over the tea powder to fill the cup. Add one spoon of salt to reduce the bitterness. Salt? Whisk the tea until a froth forms. What? Oh, make sure you whisk it really well. This style of whisked tea makes the top look like it's covered in a layer of clouds. I think it's also how they make matcha in Japan today. Oh. That's so new to me. Place the meal on the serving table and ring the bell. Looks like yeast, if so you ask far, me. So good. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, I hope these taste as good as they look. It's so perfect. It brings back so many memories. Card sweet sour candy with tea. I would never think of it. <laughs>